You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Hey everybody and welcome to Miscast Commentary, the coming attractions episode. I'm Joe Findlay. And I'm Todd. Tebow the Wolf Man. It's a full moon tonight. Murray. Ooh, yeah. Blood moon tomorrow. Is That's it? Little, yeah. That means all the monsters are Double Wolf Breath Man. Of the wild. Double Wolf Man the whole time as the Ripper yeah. throats right out. No, that's when he comes out and he's like, oh, hello there, good chaps. I'm, uh, what was his real name? Something. Wo- Who's? The Wolf Man. Oh, Wolf, well, Man, Wolf Jack. Man Jack. So this time he's like, I'm Nicholson? Jack. It's like, I'm Jack the Man Man, like Simmons or whatever. I'm just a man. This, yes. Yeah. Today, today everything's fine. Oh, Moon seems to be going behind a cloud. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's the reverse. Oh, no. The only time he's a human is on a full moon. Every other day he's a raging... Whatever the yeah. hell he turns into. In his younger days, he was the actual physical Kool Aid Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's how, I mean that's how we get started. So uh, I call my penis Teen Wolf. <laughs> very immature and very hairy. <laughs> very skittish about why the, whether or not it's growing hair. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and not great at basketball. <laughs> Yeah, it was only just the girls cheering for him. He missed yeah. every shot. That was all editing. Yeah. He sucked. And anytime Todd takes his penis out, it goes boof. Boof. <laughs> boof. We boofy. Love, we all love. Let's do boofy. We all love it's boof. fucking earpiece. All right, here no, we go. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're having. You should be terribly sorry. It is my ear, earpiece, so I feel like I'm failing you. <laughs> you did that a long time ago. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh. who needs this? Who needs this? Yeah, for real, right? Oh, my God. Friends like these, I tell you. Hey. All right. Well, um, got lots to talk about. There was a lot to uh, cover from the past week. There is. Uh, well, I feel like we weeks, haven't done really. one of these in forever. Well, yeah, it's been two weeks. Holy shit. Um, well, in this one, we're actually doing last minute. It is actually, as I'm doing this right now, it's 1040 p.m. Yeah. On Thursday. Yeah. And this will be released. Well, come on. This will be released before I go to bed. We've been fighting off armies of the dead all night. It's a fucking full moon. Yeah, it's, yeah, Werewolves. It's Jesus Christ, like a Goosebumps story up in here. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you about some crazy stuff right off the bat. Mm-hmm, um, since we last met, um, I was in a car accident. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And the, and he lost his memory, so now every time I meet him, we're meeting for the first time. Which hey, is everybody. why he said since... Hey, everybody. Welcome to Miscast Commentary, <laughs> coming attractions episode. I'm... Who's that I say again? It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. Hi. <laughs> no, um... <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't anything serious. I actually did say. I that. forgot about that. I Yo, you never did... showed me the pictures. Oh, I'll show you after. Shit, I, I totally forgot. I actually did say on Twitter that I died. But, oh, nice. But, well, I, I, I am dead. No, I, ch- I chickened out by the thing. I was like, well, our very own Joe Finley was in a car accident today, and uh, our thoughts and prayers are coming from kidding, your own. Fine. Yeah, from your own. No, it was from the. It was from. I'm our, the police officer just texting from, his phone here. It was from the podcast. His dying thing. words were, "Put this on the podcast." I was pretending I was our assistant. You know how we have an assistant. Oh, we have multiple we're, assistants. We're, we're too big. All of them sexually harassed all the time. <laughs> constantly if my, yeah. if i'm not two knuckles deep in somebody they don't work for me <laughs> but uh <laughs> you got that right it's fine if my fingers are short but fat. i will it's not smell exactly your fingers you again no yeah well because yeah, they smell I probably like, will they smell like you yeah exactly <laughs> this is like interns yeah. aren't here you just heard him he's got to be knuckles deep in something i know my sense oh <laughs> Oh my! Uh, but oh yeah. my! But it wasn't. Uh, we should have that on a, on a button. Oh my! We can get that. I can fucking that. right, we can. Uh, we'll probably get sued. He'll be on the show, man. Yeah, uh, I'm excited. Robert Patrick I'm gave George us a little a, a check mark. Yeah, in the win category. He gave, he, yeah, he he gave us gave us a like for our double dragon Boom. episode back in the day. Um, he loves it when people make fun of his old roles. Apparently, apparently, he so. never listened. Clearly, that would not have been a thumbs no, up. Of course, he never listened. Yeah, but um, yeah, the uh, the whole car accident thing, though, it was a an interesting incident uh, because I was in Toronto when it happened. Now. People who don't know the geography of here, which I am assuming is all of you, because none of you live near here, because <laughs> yeah, nobody, because nobody we know listens to yeah. this show, yeah. um, other than Bunch you, of John. Lazy and greats. You know. But um, but yeah, so uh, it's about an hour's drive 
from St. Catharines to Toronto, and that's St. Catharines. It took two hours and a half on the bus today. It was awful. It, yeah, well, it took over, and it it's took me about awful. two hours to get there that day because there was, uh, there was well, it, there was a slew of events. It was like the Foo Fighters concert, and there was a... Uh, a baseball like, the, game. Yeah, it's, there was like three or four things going yeah. on all at once. Yeah, and it was a just soccer a game. So I was just in like stopped traffic, and then the guy just came flying up behind me and smacked into me while he was changing lanes. So like the front... The front right of his car hit the rear left of my car. And from when I got, like, I got out of the car to look and like, I just like immediately got right behind the car. Like I went around the front and then went behind the car. So wait, you were in the middle of the road? Uh, well, we pulled over, we got off the, under the shoulder and all that stuff. Uh, and then I just went to like assess the damages and like, I was seeing that those guys were okay. It was four big dudes in a, uh. In a, in a car and then there was a truck behind them and I hadn't assessed his situation. He but hit was, them? Like, no, what I, uh, what actually happened, I'll get into that. He's just but, pulling over to be nosy. Yeah, no, but I looked into, uh, so I looked at the damage and it didn't look bad. It just looked like scrapes and the, like the photo I have, it just looks like my car got scraped up. But then when you go to the side, because like when the cop came, right. he was like, no, your car's not drivable. So, uh, and I was like, oh, and I looked, the whole rear end was pushed into the tire you will literally do anything to get it to work. It's disgusting. Oh, my God. Well, what was hilarious was... What did you do with all the needles strewn about the back seat? Oh, they went flying through the windshield. Oh, good. They don't wear... <laughs> <laughs> well, three of them were in the back of my neck, <laughs> Sweet. which is why I was so calm. Yeah. But um, the... Uh, yeah, so the cop's like, yeah, you got to be towed. Uh, the situation, we had to go to a collision center, and the situation for collision centers in Toronto is not great. Uh, it took me over 40 minutes to get to, to be towed to the collision center, and then the guy was trying to kind of... You're like, lucky the guy towing you didn't get into an accident, for God's <sighs> sakes, in that filthy shithole. Oh, horrible. But the... Um, but then, so it took a few hours to get that all up and running, and then I opted to be towed back to St. Catharines because I didn't want to try and deal with all this and try and get a rental car at 11 o'clock at night, yeah. which isn't a thing. So I would have ended up having to stay in Toronto the night or get So who filled your shift in? Together. So they found nobody. No, nobody. Beep. The station was just... Well, there's, there's it several... It was just the same episode well, running constantly. Yeah. The, room, the room is run by several people. They just had to pick up my slack. But uh, <laughs> thanks, guys. But, right uh, on. But yeah, so I got towed back. So I didn't get back till like after midnight. And then I just had to deal with all this stuff. And the next couple of days, I was in so much pain. My back was just wrecked. Nice. And it was my son's birthday that weekend. Oh, yes. So I had to Darth Vader with... showed up. Darth Vader came. I saw the... Did they freak? Did they like him? What happened? Everybody liked him. Reese liked him from a distance. Right. But then right when he got close, he wanted nothing to do with him. He started crying <laughs> and all that. And Abby was afraid. <laughs> I'm surprised. Abby was kind of nervous. She does not like well, when Well, he's we... Darth... V it's Darth Vader. Yeah, I know. But, you know. He was dressed like Darth Vader, so that's unacceptable. He wanted to be Darth Vader. Right. right. Like, and was, well, once the real deal showed up, he was like, oh, I'm yeah. way over my head. That He's like, I'm much, way over my head. I'm a good guy. I, I should have been dressed like Luke. <laughs> you know? That was pretty much the, the long and short of it. But uh, Abby's got a thing I find about taking pictures with things with masks on. When we went to Disney... Any character that was clearly wearing a mask, like your Chip and Dale or your like Buzz and Woody and all those guys, she would be so nervous around or she wouldn't want to do it or whatever. But any of the princesses or any of the characters that were just like a human wearing a costume, but like you could see their, their face actual and all that, face. Yeah, they're totally fine. What do you think that is? I don't know. Somebody, a guy at work hmm. was trying to tell me that it's like a big thing. He's like, no, it's a facial recognition thing and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, eh. Maybe she kind of thinks it's like the real guy and it freaks her out. Yeah, I don't but know. But seeing a princess, you're like, I know this is a Princess Jasmine. It's a girl. I can see her face. Yeah, but she was dressed like she was dressed like Ray. And she and that was awesome. Sweet. So it was it was a great. Oh, everybody dressed up for the birthday party. It was, yeah, everybody was dressed up. It was. Were a they supposed to, or they just did? We were. They were encouraged, but some did, some didn't, and uh, which is fine. And I had, was it. I would have freaked out. I was like, "Fucking told you, kids!" And I had uh, flicking cigarettes. Star Wars music blasting the whole time. Dun, we dun, dun. I'd be like, "Could you turn down?" Like what? Dun, 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 dun. Go just, eat a piece of pizza, you little shit. Yeah, just, no. <laughs> just ripping its head off, eh? But uh, it was... something like Mel Gibson. Yeah. Freaking out on tape. Who wants some cake? Give me back my son. Oh, my. Yeah. Sugar tits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just, I just combine, combine a little bit of movie stuff with a yeah. little bit of stuff it was that essentially means the he doesn't same have a thing. career anymore. Yeah. No, he does. He's doing awesome. Yeah. He they'll was in that one. They'll never take our freedom he from just... getting banged, gang banged <laughs> by some N-words. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, Come he's, back to me, Mel. He's had it going. Yeah, he just re- he just directed a Heartbreak Hotel there. Heartbreak Ridge. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Well, but he's he's keeping his face away. No, he was in Step Brothers. Or, uh, Expendables. No, no. Well, he was. Yeah, yeah. He was in Expendables but, 3. Uh, no, which that's is not what also, I'm thinking. Which is also keeping your face away from public yeah, view. Yeah, pretty much. It was... He no, was, the one with Will he was seen less... Step Daddy 2. Yeah, I know. He's, or they're, whatever. They're sneaking him in, and they're I'm like, don't do it. And I'm like, in. don't do it. No way. He's still the fucking man. I, I've, that's the problem with with situations like that. It's the same thing with the whole Louis C.K. thing. Whatever. It's like, I adored Louis C.K., and then this happens, and it's like, I still recognize talent. But I'm just right. kind of like looking at him. Now I'm just side looking at him the whole yeah. time. Hmm. Like, what are, what are you doing? You think he's going to come back? What are you doing, Braveheart? Who, Louis C.K.? Yeah. Yeah. He'll come back eventually, yeah. eh? Well, because again, he was just creepy. Yeah. He didn't do anything. Like, it illegal. wasn't that. He like, just was creepy. He was just yeah. a gross. It was like, hey, let it's me do this. It's not illegal to jerk off while somebody's there in the room without their uh, he, okay. He got their okay, was the deal. Oh. He constantly got there okay. Is it okay yeah. if I jerk off while you're sitting over there? The, the creepy was the whole I'm idea. Like, sure, of, I guess. He, his whole thing was because they would like turn him down for sex, and he's like, well, just stay here and watch me do this then. And they'd be like, all right, kind of thing. <laughs> but they were all worried. <laughs> and this becomes kind of the whole consent. Like they like, ruin their career. Is because these are all like young. They're either like waitresses who work at the place or young comics who they think, yeah, like he's just gonna go if if he I, I don't let him do this, that he's just gonna go in there and say, oh, this person's awful, don't ever right. bring him back again. And they'll do what he says because he's the freaking not even the boss. No, he he doesn't have but to. He's but, the boss. But if he just flat out says, I will never come back to this club again if you have this person there, you Ooh, he wins. Ooh, done. Right? That's sneaky business, bro. So, and it's not to say he would even do that. No, right. Exactly. But it's, it's just, just that was it's the threat of it. It's it's the idea of well, he's not even threatening to do it. It's just the idea in their it head. It could of, happen. This yeah. this could be how it goes down. Right. And I understand that, and I understand that fear because I mean it's hard enough for women in comedy to freaking get a spot. Much less. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah exactly. Right? I think it's so, getting a little better now as it, the shit comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, and, and slowly but surely, it's and all, men can slowly actually admit, yes, women yeah. are funny. Yeah. Well, n- no, that's still. Not <laughs> but um, no, but but the thing is, like, yeah, it's just it's one of those things where it's like, you you try and get a, you see a woman at a club and it's like bananas. I see female comics all the time still complaining about like I told this joke one day and everybody booed me and then i watched a guy tell the exact same joke like two days later and everybody was like standing up and cheering uh, for flapping him, and out to like, do cartwheels it's awesome and... if it's a guy talking about it right so it's like so i get it it's tough and i sympathize but i think that he is he did the right thing he's laying low he's not constantly like there's so many people who are feeling compelled oh well, you gotta to just lay low, come out. i'll tell you yeah there's so many people right now who are just feeling compelled to like i gotta talk about this again I'm like no and i was like you need to make people you need to he apologized up front he took full responsibility yeah. and now he's laying low and then yeah. he's gonna give how people long do you think how long do you lay low for i say two years two years Two oh, he's got mad cash. She didn't lose no, no money in it. Oh, hell yeah. Well, you made that creepy movie, too, with Chloe Grace Moretz or whatever. But oh, so good. What a ripoff. We're never even going to get to see Which it. Which was basically his movie version of If I Did It. Yeah. Like the OJ Essentially, thing. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I don't know how we got from car accident to that so I guess fast. your body was hurting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, from the party. Yeah, and then I had the party. But I got better. Car got better. I got there, though, and I had a flat tire. So Buddy's insurance had to take care of it or whatever? Oh, well, is that how that works out they, there in the world? What happens now, the way that the law is in Ontario now is it's all essentially no-fault insurance, but the only person who has to pay the deductible for the insurance right. is the person who's deemed at fault. Right, so that's Buddy so, behind you. So that was Buddy behind me, and here's where the other guy comes in. So basically, they're having a little bit of an argument over people hitting the, the truck. The truck said, so now if we're going here, I'm in the front. Car full of dudes in the middle, guy, a French guy in a truck, in the in the back. Right, and he's saying these guys hit me and then they hit you. Now I didn't see it because I'm watching a bunch of brake lights in front of me and I'm trying not to rear end anybody myself. And then this happens. And when I looked at the cars, I saw like they were driving a black car, 
And then I looked at the truck and it had two black streaks along the side of like the front panel. So they like, scraped him and then hit so you. So it's, it's like when he was changing lanes, he clipped them and then hit and me. And then hit you. And that's what I thought. Did he get drunk out or what? No, it didn't seem the to shit be. shit driver. Didn't seem to be. And he took full response. Like the, the, he took 100% responsibility. And like he was a good guy about it. Like I've been. Yeah, I would be too if I was in that kind of situation. No, I've been rear-ended. About, I've been rear-ended before and they literally tried to blame me. They tried to blame me for them hitting uh, me on like a just a street. They they were like I was stopped at a stop sign and they slid into me and it was what it was. And I'm cops... always always nice. Yep. When I rear end people and I do not <laughs> drive and I never have. <laughs> That's right, baby. <laughs> but you're gonna have to wait oh, two years till yeah. you can go back to that club. Yes, those plants will never be the same. No, they they look they uh, they actually now look the branches look like they're reaching out for like a hug. They're like somebody please um, talk to me. But that's enough of my self indulgence. Um, lots more to talk about. You lived. Um, You're some, stronger than ever. I want to talk about Comic Con, but before we do that, I just I saw something yesterday that kind of blew my mind. Robert De Niro is in talks to join the Todd Phillips, Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie. Yeah, I heard that actually. And I can't remember that one. I heard. I can't remember the name of the actress who is joining, but it seems to me like they were going to be playing his father and mother, which then tells me like, what kind of Joker movie are they doing? Are they doing some kind of like origin story? It sounds like it then. So maybe they'll just have some flashbacks with De Niro going, hey, you worthless, hey. Hey, you talking to me? Why don't you tell me a joke, little motherfucker, huh? Yeah. You you think you're a joker? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little oh, bit. God. Uh, two, listen, little... to, listen to two masters of the Robert De Niro. Yours turned That's a little right. bit into Tony Danza. Mm, at the end. Sure, it always does. <laughs> Everything does. That's right. I do my Miss Cleo and it turns into Tony Danza <laughs> by the end. Cleo. Read the cards now, Angela. <laughs> um, but... Uh, but yeah, I just found that weird, and I found like I started just asking that myself weird? question. I f- well because maybe he's gonna be a flash forward. He's the old Joker, Joker of the future. That would be amazing. No, but we're like a million superhero movies in, and it's like he's decided this weird, obscure. Probably one Jack people, Phoenix is in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm just sweating through my eyeballs at Jackwin. I've been, um, I've been hot out there. Hot. Yeah, it's hot. But um, we, ha- yeah, we. So we had. Uh, so I was dealing with that, and I'm also thinking too. Many too Joker I'm like, movies. I'm like, why would you? Yeah, I know. I agree to that too. But why would one? Even like you see all the big people who sign on to like the uh, the Marvel universe and end up coming out of it looking good. Yeah. Still like your Anthony Hopkins, like your Michael Douglas and like all these types of people. I really uh, liked Michael Douglas and A-Man. I do too. I think. Well, yeah. And I mean. I forgot all, all he, about him. And I was like, hey, Michael Douglas is an A-Man of the West. I mean, all he is is being Michael Douglas. He's always like, just don't get Michael me wrong. Douglas. That's but, what you need to be when you're Michael Douglas. And it's perfect. It works fine. But I just see that and I see him like see all these people have success on that side. See, nobody have success on um on this on the DC side. You will. Wonder Woman. No, but I'm talking like these big stars that just come in and show up, like Chris Pine. Oh, right. Sure. Right, right, but I'm right, talking right, like right. I'm I'm talking just about the legends right now. The legends, right? The myths. So, and and like I just I don't know I I I just find it very weird how that many he legends did that. Yet? They, got, they had what's his name though? They had Russell Crowe. Yeah, but in a they t- had yeah. Uh, Actually, you're awful. right. You are right. And they had uh, Jeremy Irons. Oh yeah, it's true. Uh-huh. This is okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to. Sort of re- recant what I've said. Then don't recant anything. No, no. Here's Just why say you never said it. No, here. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Trump does it all the time. I love you, buddy. But um, <laughs> my no. But here's what here's what I'm going to recant. I'm going to recant. Yes, people have been in it. But now I'm going to reblame <laughs> DC yeah. for it being that forgettable. I forced myself you know, to watch Suicide Squad again. And oh, I almost, again. Well, I I watched it the first like when it came out on video my buddy loaned it to me and i watched it and i'm like i hate this thing but i have been going through them all again because i feel like i've been going into them with that dc bi- bias and i'm like that's not fair to the movies <laughs> i'm like i i was like and it came you're out all on, worried eh? you're not fair yeah. to the dc well, universe no, i but i just like i hate when people do that to like the star wars look it's not the original one so i'm just gonna yeah. go in hating it so fuck it so i don't want to be doing the same thing because i don't want to even go to something thinking like that 
people do it yeah, all I the know, time. Yeah, I know what the fuck like people are I don't care what this movie is or how good I actually like it, I hate it. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Yeah. And so are you. But um yeah, it just so I watched it again and I'm just like, oh my god. And I'm like, why did they have so many bloody characters in this if they're not gonna care about any of yeah. them and not even try and make me care about them? Like Will Smith's character at least had something emotional to hang on to. That one eye. <laughs> you know how is acting with one eye? <laughs> Will Smith, you are a delight. Doing great. He that's that's how oh. like, he uses that thing. That's how he sees the numbers that we can't see to do all that special oh, math and all that Jada special do. shit. Yeah. Oh, it just he, he can he's watching mm-hmm. Jada Pinkett's like yellow table talks. That's what he's watching. Oh, he's excellent. not even paying attention anymore. <laughs> he's got to listen how what's her name wanted to commit suicide and how her son dresses like a woman and you know gets into the role by inserting tampons and you into know, what all that kind of I don't know <laughs> just. Just where, where I don't know, wherever she, yeah. yeah, I don't know, I don't know where tampons go. <laughs> yeah, like what am I? What do I look like, a doctor? Holy Jesus, man! Um, Kevin Smith though made yes. a very good point with the new uh, Joker movie. Mm-hmm. Um, they can now restart the universe if they have two oh. different lines running. Now they can be like, oh no, that's they le- can do like Justice League again. They could do that is legitimately the intention. Yeah. Uh, they have decided that's what um, this guy. Who, That'll be the Zack Snyder universe, and then yeah. we'll have oh now now oh. this is our actual universe. Yeah, this is the universe that we're trying to light on fire, but it's always raining, so we can't. Yeah, but yeah, it's <laughs> too dark to find anything to put it out it's with because like, everything has to take place in Boston, so Ben Affleck can show yeah. up. Yeah, in f- the dead of night. Joker, you fucking queer. <laughs> but um, <laughs> the. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, But let's get off of that and go to something a little less nerdy. Comic-Con. Sweet. Uh, The best part of Comic-Con is the ladies. Oh, my God. I was a lot of Captain Marvels out there. I was um, going through, like, all the cosplay photos. And, yeah, every now and again, you stop. Any sexy Groot's? Um, no, nope, they're no gro- Lady Groot with their big, uh, having, big uh, seen, tree branch no, titties. I've seen Lady Groots and they've had like the branches and stuff. And then they have their torso is more poison ivy, yeah, than anything else. Yeah, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, there was an interesting cosplay though. There was an orange Darth Vader with the blonde wig that said like "Make the galaxy great again." Oh, sweet! And that man was none other than Mark Hamill. No walking way! Around and he Seriously. was taking pictures with everybody, and nobody knew. And then finally, I saw somebody on Twitter going, "I think I took my picture with Mark Hamill today." And then he admitted that it was no him. shit. That's um, wicked. You didn't even have to pay for it. But that was awesome. Like it's just, and that's a good moment. You know, they like, knew it because he, he whispered, "He's like still alive." You're like, what? Who is that? Use the force. Yeah. I'm still alive. Use the force. I'm sorry, Kylo Ren. <laughs> yes. um, like the, but um, yeah, it that was cool. But uh, it was the trailers uh, were very interesting this year. There wasn't really anything that I was as excited for as previous years. Right. Like You've had previous ones where it's like, oh, the new Star Wars oh, teaser yeah. or the new uh, Marvel thing. And I liked Marvel- the new Aquaman footage. Oh, oh yeah? I think it looks good, and I, I think out of you know everybody makes fun of Aquaman it being the lamest yeah, superhero. He's yeah. his movie's going to be the best one. I agree and disagree with you because there were some bits that looked awesome. Yeah, I think that like the underwater land looked yeah, it looks like, neat. Uh, I thought it looked like yeah. garbage. Oh, you didn't like it? I didn't like oh, it. I, like, I thought it was cool looking. Too shiny. It went. It, it's like they went from the dark DC universe yeah, like to shiny Star Wars land. Episode. Two. I only saw a little bit. Like, I didn't see a yeah. lot of the underwater. Yeah. I'll have to watch the whole thing. I'll watch it later. I, that was just. But again, this is all just but first James impressions. James Wan's good. I was, I was just, and that's the thing. And I'm like, and I, I have I to. I think put, he's going to do it. I have to put faith behind it's him because he's Wilson good at making... it. It's got my girlfriend, yeah. Amber Heard. Yeah. Now Johnny Depp's done with her. Go oh, yeah. Take a stab that's at the her. only time I want someone. <laughs> Johnny Depp's got his dirty Hollywood vampire penis yeah. in there. She, she's still oily from his oh, skin. Oh, God. Much like the way if you go into like somebody's house who just chain smokes and you touch like their remote control. Oh, just, yeah. Like, the feel whole thing's got like a weird, it goes yeah. whoop, like, you know, one of those, like a bar, like a soap and a rope or something. Yeah, exactly. like, You're like, oh, did you guys have you a fire recently? It. And they're like, no, I have not had a fire recently. <laughs> yeah, the fire in their lungs. <laughs> yeah. Fire down below. I smoke out of but, my asshole. But yeah, so that was the first one. And I was kind of like, uh, and but I saw the- Predator? Pe- I saw the potential in- Predator. Aquaman. I, you got to let me finish my thought on the oh, first okay. one. Okay. Before we move on to the next, I one. guess. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, but I see the potential in Aquaman, and I see that it can be something. There's a lot of Thor in it. Like the what? way that I saw a lot. Oh, of, okay, like, yeah. the, the way that I saw so much like of Captain America, the first Avenger, 
in Wonder Woman. Right. I see a lot of Thor in this one. They're like, you have to come back and claim your rightful throne and blah, blah, blah. And like, and it was all those kind of things. Uh, and like it's a Black like, Panther it, kind of thing, too. Where it was like, very, yeah, very much so. Except he was always going to have his throne and then ended up losing it. Whereas the other guy is just like, I want to live a different life than this. And then it's like, no, you got to come back. Uh, so it's a lot closer I to Thor. I need more bumpy tattoos. Yeah. I got, I got to fight, um, I got to fight Drago. Don't you believe I can beat Fuck Drago? Yeah, Drago that, Jr. That trailer looked awesome. Oh, Creed came 2 out. came out. That well, the trailer, trailer. came out way before Comic Con. That wasn't a Comic Con. Oh, I didn't trailer. even see it. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Shit. It's, uh, it, like it's him coming off of a loss and stuff like that, and then uh, they start like leading up to this moment, and you find out that it's like he's like I got to do this, and they're like, don't act like this is just about your dad or some kind of revenge or something like that. And right. Then, and then just at the very end, you don't even get to see him, but he just does like he just does like the fist pump thing when he's in the ring and he turns around and his uh, thing says Drago and you're like oh Drago he's playing Drago I'm still Dolph no, no, Lundgren Bridget Nielsen oh my <laughs> god she's it's got Flav of Flav around her fresh, neck like a clock fresh off her baby she just had a baby what she is 50 something years oh old oh my she god just had a baby good for her this month um, but that that's neither here nor there. Let's go back to Comic-Con. Flavor Flav <laughs> Flavor Flav I should go as Flavor Flav to Comic-Con next year Tars yeah Blackface. <laughs> it's it's anybody would care. We accept it. Yes. I, yeah. I think ev- <laughs> I think literally everybody would care. What a bunch of lame. I was like, unless unless you did it so well, like Al Jolson used to do with shoe polish yeah. and then oh, white amazing. lips. Uh, I was explaining that to like a twenty-something girl at work today. How that was that, and she's like, is it, is it racist of me to think that that shouldn't? Uh, and she's. Uh, She's Muslim. She's like, is it racist for me to think that it shouldn't be like removed from like the pantheon of movies if it was like such a big deal back then? Like it wasn't like people don't say that it was a bad movie now. They're just saying we don't want to talk about this anymore yeah, because it's yeah. like we <laughs> like we're we're yeah, done with this one. Kind of bad, yeah, yeah. But um, so other trailers. We saw the Shazam trailer. Oh, I missed that one. Shazam! You should have. It should. You should have. It should be a TV show. It looks, it looks like, like something on the CW. Pure track. No, the CW, like the those movies or those shows, like the Flash like the and Arrow and stuff, and look the... way better. This really? is um, Zachary Levi. Okay, who's that? Uh, guy? He was uh, he was in Chuck on NBC. Like that's like he was the Office guy uh, turns like super yeah, spy kind of thing. Yeah. And then he uh, played like one of the like uh, one of Thor's guys in the set in Thor: The Dark World. Oh, but yeah. not the first. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah where sure he fights the one. elves. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure he wasn't in the first one and not in the second. One. I'm pretty sure he was in the second one, not. The oh first one. yeah, no, that's not a big deal, right? <laughs> right. And um, you don't want all the nerds calling to be like, he was in the first one, you fucking liar. Man. Um, I would we love can't for anybody. Controversy like that. I would love for anybody to reach out. Yeah, exactly. Um, but um, no, I was just, it was so bad, and it's basically this little kid then says Shazam, and it was they at least, um. They at least address the fact that it's really stupid that he has to say Shazam. Why? It's like so. It's well, magic. I know, but it was like the same deal with the whole uh, Doctor Strange, where like his thing was Shambhala, and they were just like, "I'm not saying that as my like, m- that's not going to be my catchphrase in this movie." And then they did it just as that little like right as the joke. little right right. So the um. So yeah, it just looked really bad. Shambhala. And it was just a lot of like like whoa, I have superpowers. It was almost like his acting was almost exactly the same as the guy from um God, what was the, uh rookie of the year? Oh, when hell he hurt his shoulder, yeah. he's like he's like, Now you could be a pitcher. Cool. Like that was pretty much the <laughs> entire goddamn movie. <laughs> and I, love I that was movie. just what's his name? I I don't know. Fuck. I I always just assume it's gonna be three names, so I'm just gonna say Zachary Levi Thompson. Nice, and I was like, that might be him, even though I already said Zachary Levi was in American Pie. Yeah, yeah, that's the right guy. And a kid in King Arthur's Court. Oh, I'm a kid in King Arthur's Court. God, yes. Like same fucking thing. (laughs) This catchphrase, like Shambhala was supposed to be. We're gonna get we're gonna get laid at prom. Cool. (laughs) But um, (laughs) because I just like the fact too that it's like. Yeah, yeah, that's just it's just cool. It's yeah. not even like holy shit. I went back and I might be murdered. Like you know, it's just cool. Yeah, the real cool. If you travel through time back to medieval times, whether you're a kid or adult, you, your only response should be ah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, 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 until you pass out and then until you flip inside out as a witch. and die. Yeah. Um. 
so yeah, that one was a snoozer. Um, predators. Uh, I, He's it killing was other teaser. predators. He's like it the was, asshole predator of the universe. It was cool. It was really cool looking. Did Shane Black do uh, Monster Squad? He wrote Monster Squad. Oh, okay. Uh, he yeah, he wrote Monster Squad. He wrote Last Boy Scout. He wrote oh uh, sweet bunch of things like that. Um, he was at he was on Conan did his Comic Con week at Comic Con special was out of this world. Oh my god! He had the whole cast of. Uh, Has he got half an hour yet, or is that not, not no, happening yet? That, I don't think that's happening until next year. Um, but yeah, so so yeah, that one looked good. Godzilla King of Monsters looks good, but corny. Oh sweet. Like, it's a lot of, like, literally all the monsters are in it. Mothra, Gamera. Whoa. Like, all, they're, they're all in it. But there's, they're like, this. loading up, eh? Like how yeah. they did in that Superman one where Superman dies, comes back, fights Doomsday. It's, like, 15 comic plots rolled into one. Spoilers. Boom. <laughs> no, um, basically, there's this weird, like, storyline of, like, these are the Titans, and we have to, like, find all of them or our world's going to be destroyed. Oh, type thing. sweet. And, but it was just, I don't know, it felt very like a wrinkle in time in a Godzilla movie. Right. But at the same time, as, I'm like, it looks cool. And as I'm long as they do the same thing they did in the first new Godzilla, where every time the monsters go to face off, the camera cuts away and then it goes to, like, people talking. They only got it right once. They only got it right Matthew once. Broderick. Matthew Broderick. Matthew Broderick. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, every other time, they blew it. Remember how excited we were with that oh, teaser no. trailer? What the Because hell? all you saw was like the foot and the eye, and that all looks normal. So you're like, yep. oh my god. I like how with the new Godzilla, they're like fat shaming Godzilla. Who's fat? Yeah, they're like, oh, look at his big ass. He's way bigger than before. Uh, Should have done Pilates. He's huge. Yeah, well, he's like, come on. There's actually going to be like a solid scene where he gets his stomach stapled and he goes down to 128 <laughs> pounds and gets a coke addiction. You know, starts going to Hollywood parties. Yeah. Oh God! And King Kong's like, you got to get off the sauce. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, well, you know, you know how movies go. Rrr, rrr. Um, what else was there? What was um, your favorite one? Uh, was there any horror movies? Probably Conjuring no. Nine. No, they don't really. Do Annabelle those. Seventeen. What? Annabelle 17. Oh, Annabelle. I thought you said Hannibal. I'm like, what? Um, no, it was... I, I was just weirded out by more of them than anything this weird. year. Weird. Like, this one made me feel I, weird. But I think because I had no real anticipation, I think the biggest surprise was they're doing another season of Star Wars Clone Wars, hmm. which is, you know, hasn't been on the air for like a long time now. That's cool. I like that show, so, actually. So that that was, a, that was a big surprise for this one. Um, they did a panel for... Um, uh, Deadpool two in oh yeah they're doing like, a Deadpool two super cut yeah so they, they two aired, minutes of actual new footage and yeah. it's literally it's jaw it's Jabba the Hutt yes it's the same <laughs> exact Jabba scene the that they added into the Star Wars where Jabba's kind of moving around <laughs> and, in Deadpool two and Deadpool like steps yeah. over him awkwardly yeah uh, that's awesome I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm down with that um, the one that disappointed me the most though they're doing like I I would say that arguably right now the most popular DC property is Teen Titans. Yeah, the movie's coming out. The movie's they, coming there's out. There's a lot of previews all over Toronto for the it, The TV show is crazy popular. Yeah. I saw a lot of Twitter stuff from a lot of celebrities from the premiere and stuff like that. And I'm like, like this was a pretty big deal. And they're making a Teen Titans TV show. Live action? Yeah. And I was kind of like, whoa, that's crazy. And then you go to it, and guess what? It's dark, and it's raining, and yeah. it's broody. And yeah, I'm just like, what it. the? Like... Yeah, like give it Teen to Titans, brood, baby. From, they're they're teens. They brew from its inception. Well, you know what it looks like? It looks like to me the exact same comparison of Teen Titans the cartoon to Teen Titans live action to Archie the cart the comic and Archie the live action. Oh, Riverdale. Riverdale. Oh yeah. Like it's just always dark, and yeah. it's just like what's going on? And they're just all sitting around like a table and just like, like it's Broody. it's like the scenes it's like in, a soap opera. It's like, like the post rape scenes in Sleeper. Uh, sleepers like what yeah. like Kevin Bacon raped us he's like we can never talk about this and I was like that was basically Teen Titans and I'm just like fuck like, <laughs> I couldn't like and well, what channel is it on I, I it looks CW it's probably CW or, or whatever it's called now. yeah but um the the thing that killed me though is I saw it like that came out first day of comic-con but I saw something on YouTube and it was this big long thing and I was like what is this 
And I could like I was like, is this like somebody made like a fan trailer or something? Because like there's no recognizable actors, right. and it's just like I don't know what this is. And yeah, it ended up being that. Um, I think my favorite trailer though probably would be the Fantastic Beasts two trailer, The Rise of Griswold. Yes, yeah, this is one. <laughs> this is the first time Chevy Chase makes his appearance exactly. in the Wizarding World, and all he wants to do is take Gryffindor out on a fun yep, holiday, and it just goes crazy. Everything goes but, ass over tea kettle. <laughs> Classic Chevy. No, there's a lot of good stuff in it. A lot of good um, Jude Law's Dumbledore. Did you like the other one? I I did. Fantastic Beasts. Like it, I didn't like it as and good. How as, to tame them? Yeah, find them. But uh, I did. How to tame a beast in ten days? Yes, that that was actually that was the original <laughs> title. Yes. Um, I uh, I enjoyed it. There were parts of it that I didn't care for, and I think it was a lot of comparing it to the, the especially the last Harry Potter movies, like the last like three. Does the old Rowler write these ones or what? Rowling wrote the scripts okay. for these ones, and David Yates, who directed the last like five Harry Potter movies, right. is directing them. Hey, didn't he do so, Suicide Squad? No, that was David Ayers, not oh. David Yates. Um, but yeah, the uh, yeah, it was just a uh, it was it was a good trailer, and you got to see a little bit more of Johnny Depp as Grindelwald. Oh, that was a big deal, right? People still he, thought he should be taken out of the movie. And, well, that, well, that was yeah, that was the oh, thing, and it's like, well, he's already here. We've already it's <laughs> it's yeah. already done. We're not pulling the Kevin Spacey here, like we're no. Well, he's in. especially something <clears throat> that again nobody was able to prove. Yeah, and Amber Heard even came out with a statement too, saying like, don't yeah, you know, don't take roles from, don't do anything. You know, this yeah. is between us. Uh, yeah, this know. is between us. I deserved and, and, it. Yeah. See how fucking hot she looks in her mermaid gear? I didn't even recognize it was her. She looked old. Like, not like old, old, but she looked like... Like older. Well, once you've been... She looked like 40. Once the Hollywood vampire sucks, you know, some of the life out of you, that's (laughs) what's going to happen. But she looked great. Um, The Aquaman cast was one of the... uh, At Conan, they they did the four episodes and they had like full casts in each episode. So the first one was um, they did a Breaking Bad reunion. Right. So the entire cast of Breaking Bad was there and that was awesome. The next one, they did the entire cast of Predator. Then they did the, entire, the original Predator. No Predators, sorry. Oh. Uh, then they did the original. Ca- then they did the. Uh, did Arnold show up wearing a Predator costume? He did it's me. He did not. Uh, they did an amazing thing for Figur and Dan. They like a behind the music for Figur and Dan and the Moto. Oh modes. my God! They ripped that off from us. I know. We should just do their fucking asses. Yeah. Yes. Yes. If only we owned the proprietary rights to the a bunch of bullshit. Place. But um, no, it was. But it was really good. It was just all about how they were all coked up and how like wor- <laughs> how they had to like get away from working for Job of the Hut and go to work at the cantina. And then there were a bunch of like actual record execs and stuff like that. And the, like the one uh, female record exec was like, "Yeah, I fucked all of them." <laughs> <laughs> it was good and uh, Paul Rudd played like a promoter or something like that and it was really funny they nice. had a lot of good the opener too they always do a pretty like big produced opener uh, and this one it was him as Batman and he's sitting at the DC table at the Hall of Heroes and they're all being boring and like uh, Superman's like ooh I got lots of tater tots he's like this is great and then um, he's like oh do you want some cyborg he's like I can't process ta- potatoes and like it was just that thing and then he like sadly looks over and just sees all the Marvel guys just like whooping it up and they're just like yeah. <laughs> and, they're just party. and then he goes over to try and join marvel and then he's like you're not like he's like you're not you're really in. he's like you're rich but you're not like tony stark rich and yeah he's like he's like oh i can fight and then uh black widow and it was uh, all comedians playing all the parts and she's like no offense i think i've got that covered and he's like well you know all in all you are a girl and then it cuts and it's her with her legs wrapped around his head squishing his head he's like i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. Oh um, yeah, which comedian was it? Uh, you'd recognize them all. It was like uh, Rob Hubel was Tony Stark. Um, uh, was Rob uh, Corddry Keenan- Black Widow? <laughs> Rob Corddry was not Black Widow. Oh. Um, it was the girl from Garfunkel and Oates, not the um, not the black haired girl, the other one. Uh, and then. Um, what uh key from key and peel was black panther oh sweet uh and so yeah that was really fun though and it was uh, like i always recommend watching his things though they they do such a good job they put so much work into that's conan it. on conan yeah of course come on yeah. conan's but, a fucking man oh he's so good but um all that aside comic-con mm. is gone now so let's just get it out of our system Smiley and now that we're Comic-Con, i didn't even know you were here i'll see you now next that we're... year yeah. no we won't it sells out too fast 
too expensive. Um, I'll watch the trailers. Yeah, yeah. I will. I'll, I see the same trailers that they do. At least well, this year, all, at least this year, all the trailers were released. Like all the ones I was excited for last year were like under lock and key. It's like only the people at the in Hall H were able to oh, see it. Oh right, and, and then they sign a yeah. waiver yeah. and like yeah, yeah. Families yeah. end up dead. Yeah, and and they lots did lots of them. That's you actually the waiver. It's actually why all the Mexican kids are being separated from their parents now. Because they keep mm-hmm. talking about because they, those movies they saw at Comic Con. Yeah, because they they almost ruined uh, Avengers Four as much as Tom Holland. Oh my God, <laughs> the fucking right! I was gonna say Tom Holland to you, bastard. I know. Well, this is say this is why you should have been speaking first. Damn. Um, but now that we're about forty minutes into this episode, want to uh, announce the episode we're doing next week? No. All right, let's keep okay. going. Comic Con. <laughs> yeah. um, I believe they were selling uh, Funko Pop gonna, figures. What movies uh, do you think they're going to show next year? Um, Indy Five. Probably, yeah, probably. yeah. Um, Black Panther two, yeah. Probably a little bit of news on uh, X Force. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. There'll be another X Men movie coming out by then, I imagine. Oh, that would be cool. But directed by the Russo brothers, X Men, the real one. No, directed by Rene Russo. Oh my God, yes, the biological father of the Russo <laughs> brothers. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's not Rene Russo, the actress. It's a French guy. Yeah, you, you you don't get all worked up. Don't get, get like come um, on. You know? All right. But I do need to get worked up because we have a movie that was, this is kind of like right in the, this isn't when we started going to movies by ourselves, but it's when we really started going all the time. Yeah. And uh, this movie, so it came out in 1995. Uh, I would like to say I knew that from memory, but it's up on my screen right now. Uh, (laughs) And we, uh, and it was... Again, not our introduction to James Bond either, but it was our introduction to a James Bond that excited us. Yeah. Like, on the, like sexually. Theater. Like, this was the first one I saw in theaters. Was this the first one for you, right? Yes, it was. Yeah. The other ones are boring as fuck. Yeah. So well, some of the action scenes, the Roger Moore ones are good, but the Sean Connery ones yeah. are like, oh, God. Yeah. But you get to watch him slap around a woman. I know, that's all right. It's all good. Wear a wig. Yeah, it's, all, it's really good. I, he lost I like wearing hair, wigs like when I slap women ago. around. And I put a male wig on them. Exactly. He is... Like a mo. Like, if he didn't exist, the Me Too movement would have never had to happen. It's like everybody was just... <laughs> yeah. Because he's like, oh, man, he's so cool. Thanks a lot. He's so cool. Look at him. He just, like, knocks that woman over and then fucks her. And he's like, well, I should be able to do that. And then he's like... They well, don't most have of them the, are trying to kill him. And then they don't have his confidence, so they're like, I guess I'll jerk off into a plant. <laughs> uh, you know. You know how it is. Once you knock them down on the ground, just go full James mm-hmm. Bond. You're already halfway there. So what I'm saying is that we're going to be binging the entire series of James Bond Jr., the animated series. Oh, James series. Bond Jr. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. He got the name from his Uncle James. Or he learned the game from his Uncle James. Now he's heir to the name <laughs> James Bond. Whoa. You remembered a lot of that, actually. I I still watch it every day. It's fucking A. I don't blame you. My name's Bond. James Bond. Jr. Jr. Yeah. Uh, no, but we are watching... Golden Eye. Golden Eye. Golden Eye. What is your weakness? Uh, I'll tell you what my weakness is watching this badass trailer, so watch it now. <laughs> when the world is the target. 72 hours ago, a secret weapon system was detonated over Seven Iron. And the threat is real. Golden Eye exists. A radiation surge that destroys everything with an electronic circuit. You can still depend on one man. I want you to find Goldeneye. Three. Find who took it. Two. And stop it. One. Name's Bond. James Bond. The world's most famous secret agent is back. We aim to please. And this time, 007 is facing the ultimate enemy. The man who knows him best. Hello, James. What an unpleasant surprise. 006. What's the matter? No pithy comeback? He was your friend. And now he's your enemy and you will kill him. Is the satellite in range? Target is London. Now, the entire world is about to be caught in the crossfire. See you in hell, James. You first. Kill him. The pleasure will be all mine. But you check her out. That's it all. Three clicks, arms the fuse. Don't say it. 
The writing's on the wall? Grow up, double O seven. I think you're a sexist, misogynist dinosaur, a relic of the Cold War. You know, James, I was always better. Both of you, stop it. You like boys with toys. The trick is to quit while you're still here. I wouldn't think of it. Charming, sophisticated secret agent. Shaken, but not disturbed. <laughs> Get us out of here! Bond, only Bond. Man just won't take a hint. He don't need the gun. That depends on your definition of safe sex. On November 17th... Rabbit! United Artists brings you... Trust me. James Bond. Why can't you just be a good boy and die? That's one trick I've never learned. Now he's controlling the tide. Damn it. Oh, no, that's James Bond, sorry. You could have, like, a machine that's, you know, waves. <clears throat> but, yeah, so... That is... goes so big. <laughs> I get it. The love of Elrond. <laughs> oh, Hubbard. Hugo, Hugo Weaving would have made a good Bond in his younger days. I think Hugo Weaving would make a great Elrond. Yeah. El- Elrond the, the elf. No. Yeah. Hubbard. Hubbard. Oh. <laughs> in my in our new uh, docu series on Netflix. Did we just make a new wordplay style sketch? I it's think elf. so. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> being being an elf means you're a Scientologist in the Lord <laughs> yes. of the Rings world. That yeah. it's L. Ron Hubbard who gets it all started. Oh, I like that. L. Ron. Yeah. Uh, somebody's gonna be on eBay oh, late tonight looking for pointy fuck, ears. Here to put we on. go. Yeah. And it's surprisingly not you. No. Nope. It's just somebody. It's Griffrow. It's always somebody. Griffrow, are you still out there? You know Email she us. Is. You know she ain't gonna. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <come on>. yeah. <laughs> um, in the meantime, we are going to head off this mortal coil. Yeah. Uh, whoa, we're, whoa, we're, whoa. What? I'm burning put, the, put the gun down. Uh, put the gun nope. down. Nope. Put, <laughs> nope. <laughs> can't, can't stop me. Can't stop me. Um, it shoots bubbles. Yeah, it's fine. It's don't, uh, and they're those flavored ones, which I don't know why ooh. you're trying to teach kids to taste bubbles. Fla- the flavor of LSD. Yeah. No, literally, like there were these bubbles I could buy, and they're like, "Ooh, they're cherry flavored." And, and I'm you're like, just be "Eating bubbles I'm all like, the time." Yeah, that was it. I'm like, once you run out of these bubbles, and you just get the regular bubbles back, they're yep. going to eat the bubbles. Yes, because they will you just are, assume now that yeah. all bubbles are edible, which they are, but they mm. will learn the lesson the yeah, hard yeah. way. Well, they're not. They're not poison. They're no, not toxic, exactly. They'll but they're learn not edible. Like, but anyways, um, anything that's not toxic is edible. Yeah. Uh, we do want to give you a heads up because in the very near future, uh, we are in talks right now. Uh, we will have some t-shirts available. Lucasfilm. Yeah. Yeah. We're buying it. We're in talks with Lucasfilm. We're buying it. I got, I got 30 bucks together. Todd said he can cover the rest. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to own Lucasfilm. If If they can raise 200 million to redo the last Jedi, fuck, we can do it. Yes. Yep. Whoop. Whoop. Oh shit. $200 billion. Todd's got it. Two hundred billion dollars. So First we'll have to kick it off with a couple of big rap hits. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm all fine. <laughs> yeah, rap hits, or did you just like miss say rabbits? Oh just no, need a couple of big rabbits. It. Yes, yes. Giant rabbits sell for a lot of money. You damn right, did you? Rabbit meat is huge in the Philippines. And if they do some rap hits, then it's even better. Rapid rabbits. Yeah. Oh my god, um, they'd be bigger than the rapping granny. Well, in both size, which and I think then fame. turned out to be Coolio. Yeah. Yeah. Well, have you seen him lately? He's literally those little sprigs of hair are all he's got left. That's, that's it's essentially all, all he is. It's like his hair was like slipping back and slipping back, and I think he just had like two sticks like stuck in his head, and then he had his hair wrapped around it. They're desperately holding on as the cliff like mm. flies off the other way. Pretty much. Yeah. I'm glad I avoided that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just let him jump. Ugh. Just go. You don't want to be here? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Everyone. That even that one at the back that was still there for you. Like, sorry, yeah. sorry. And as we just mentioned, Old blue, you're out. Yeah. And as we just mentioned, we were making uh, t-shirts for our fan, and that's the first t-shirt. If you don't want to be here, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I like that actually. <laughs> um, you're just like my hair. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> my poor hair. Yeah. And it then the so and, no, and then it'll have an arrow pointing to your crotch. That's nice. what the shirt will be. Nice. Because people will be thinking what? And then like, oh, his dick hair. Yeah. There's probably 
like a filter that will turn our voices into t-shirt designs. Is there some kind of algorithm, some kind of a bippity boop we can... Uh, I can screenshot these and put them on t-shirts. I like, that's it. There. That's it. Mm-hmm. Visual it's sound waves. Visual sound waves of us saying cunt fucker. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Only you, only people, like deaf people yeah. would see that shirt and be like, oh my God. I know exactly what he yeah, said. Yeah, that is offensive. I just don't know why he said it. Yeah. <laughs> um, is he talking to me? Directly to you. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, that is going to be it for this week because holy fuck. But um, <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. But uh, tune in next week. We're going to watch some uh, GoldenEye. I almost forgot. And uh, <laughs> But what's most important is that this is the season finale. Oh, my God, yes. Is This is this is the end of our second year with this movie. Amazing. Uh, and following that, we're going to do what we did last yeah. year. There's going to be an outtakes episode followed by a best of episode. So stay tuned for those and ones. And then we're watching the same movie every time all year. Yeah. Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> I wish. The quest to get it right. I wish everything holy that i could just pin you down and make you watch some super mario brothers i had to watch it twice why did you get oh, to avoid it god. by working 170 hours on a boat oh it was worth it oh my god i almost died multiple times and every time i was like oh super mario brothers dodge that bullet i literally was just gonna say i feel like i was in a much worse condition i was <laughs> like like before they even made it back to the sewer world i was like back physically to the sewer uh, world i was or well you know what i mean yeah. but um the whole movie was in the fucking yeah. sewer world <laughs> you got it but um i literally felt like rocky in the 15th round like to, like my eyes felt swollen and like me, mick me. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not talking about your eyes you like slash my wrists open and end this misery I, ideally yeah um I'll tell you what, just one quick story because I just brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're, we're going. I swear to Christ. Um, no. Um, one time we were at uh, we were at Todd's aunt's place and he was laying down on like a love seat and I was sitting on the other side and he was just kind of like, just like zoned out. We were watching uh, Rocky 3. <laughs> and you know that you remember the <laughs> yeah, story. Totally. So I go over to him and I go like right above his face. And the scene when uh, Mickey dies, spoiler alert, Mickey dies. Um, <laughs> yeah, spoiler, spoiler alert. alert for life. He was a million years old. Yeah. Uh, even though he went on to like do movies like for the other 20 years. Yeah. Holy but fuck, um, man. yeah, you could not get rid of him. Grumpy old man. He was still going. He was amazing. But, um, but yeah, I went over him and I went, Mick, Mick. <laughs> and right when I did that, Todd just spit straight up into the air and coated my face with his with his spit. It was uh, you just like semen. <laughs> you almost screwed the story up. No, I almost, told the truth. I almost got it right. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I couldn't help it. It was like you know, it was explosive laughter that just came oh, out. My God, and it was and like I wasn't even mad. Like it was <laughs> just like I got. Mad. I was happier. I got the laugh, but. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, get try and get that out of your heads while you uh, wait for us for next week. Uh, as always, uh, find us on miscastcommentary.com. We do have some fun news since we were last uh, when I have announced as this. As opposed to all the sad I've, news we're always giving. No, but on tw- like I've announced this on Twitter and on the website and all that. But we are now on Spotify. Boom! So one more place you can find us. Um, it only has like the last 10 episodes or so. I don't know what that is exactly. I'm looking into it, but at the very least, you can catch the latest from us up there. Sweet. Um, and get on it, Spotify. Yeah, iHeartRadio, same deal. Yeah. Uh, and uh, keep an eye out for us just in the world on Twitter at Miscast Podcast, at Miscast TV. I'm at JK Finley. Todd's at Miscast Todd. Still the one tweet. Uh, and um, <laughs> it's still, I haven't deleted it. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, well, because Todd, Todd stands for for all his tweets. That's it's right. Not, they're not going to come back and haunt him. That's right. He's going. He's going to admit he doesn't know how Twitter works. That's right. That's what's going to come back and haunt me. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. eventually, Twitter is going to be the only way you can communicate yeah. with people. With any, but anyway. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And they're like, "Well, he were good. he was going to be prime minister, but I'll apparently be, he doesn't know how Twitter works." Well, then I'll be like Buddy in the one video from Metallica. Uh, I will see nothing, hear nothing. I'll just be like bumping into things. I was thinking more nodding, of the, kill me, kill me. I was thinking uh, more kill of me. the um, the old lady from the one video. The <laughs> oh, Mary and Faithful. That's what I'll be. I'll be doing that over and over again. You um, won't hear me though. I'll just I'll be in the darkness. Exactly. Just like Marianne. 
So you got that to look forward to next week. Yeah. Uh, yeah Todd, play us out. Goodbye, guys. This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production. 